war never changes. Fallout is everything you could want in a video game adaptation. It's action-packed, suspenseful, and full of dark humor. When Amazon Studios announced that Jonathan Nolan and his wife Lisa Joy would be helming a Fallout series, there was a lot of excitement among fans of the Fallout games. City, setting, set of characters and story, but they all connect to each other. Have you ever wondered what the world would be like after a nuclear apocalypse? Imagine a world where nuclear fallout has turned Los Angeles into a wasteland, and the only survivors are those who have taken refuge in underground vaults. Set in a post-nuclear apocalyptic Los Angeles, the citizens are forced to live in underground vaults to protect themselves from radiation. The story has three main character lines and two timelines past and present. In the meantime, Lucy, Maximus, and the Ghoul are three characters who cross each other in any way. But the point is that these characters and narrative timelines may not be uniformly interesting to everyone, but all these character content together form a strange and surprising story mess that you can't take your eyes off of in all eight episodes. From the point of view of entertainment, you should know that this series doesn't shy away from depicting grief and violence on screen, as it's perfectly in line with the chaotic world of the Fallout game. However, it's the dark humor of the narrative and, of course, some of the questions that keep you off guard and elevate the series above your average apocalyptic fare. The show explores the idea of how giving giant corporations unlimited power and resources can lead to the downfall of civilization, and how to break people out of delusional beliefs about the greater good of humanity. Apart from the story, the music is probably the first thing you'll notice about Fallout's appeal. While the visuals are stunning, the world is terrifyingly beautiful, and even the nuclear tragedy is palpable. Of course, no show is perfect and Fallout is no exception. For all the positives of the show, there's no denying that some of Fallout's dramas could have been done better with a little more care. For example, the show's story, especially in the second half and episode 5, is such that it can be confusing and disorienting for viewers unfamiliar with the game. This may not be a strange problem in itself, but the creators could have used two more episodes to address some of the audience's confusion. For example, the ghoul's pre-apocalyptic life is an important subplot that could fill a chapter on its own. Overall, the first season of Fallout has not only been well received by critics, but has also been one of the best shows of 2024 so far. And with only eight episodes, there's no denying that it's an entertaining piece that has captivated both fans of the game and those unfamiliar with it. It's a thrilling, action-packed, and thought-provoking ride that will keep you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. The series did so well that the game Fallout 4 turned into one of the best-selling games in Europe. I hope you enjoy Fallout as much as we did.